Okay, so Brie, yes, um, we are so excited. Welcome Thank to our you. podcast. So this is <laughs> Inches and Insights with Bell Medical. <laughs> Okay, today we are with Brie, and Brie, you are a massage therapist yes. um, at our Pleasant Grove location, right? So yes. tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so um, I have been with Bell Medical for about two years now, and it has been such a blessing uh, to work with amazing people. Everybody here is yeah. so great and so caring. And it really is what Bell stands for, right? right? So yeah. um, it's not even a job to me at this point. And it's just, I feel like so fulfilled every single day. That's so nice. Work. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, so I've been a massage therapist for about, I would probably say six years now. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm a mother. I have two children. Okay. How old um, are they? My son is nine, and my daughter is going to turn seven in April. Oh, so, okay. It's like, ah. yeah. Um, but I, I'm married as well. And, and um, this year we make, we make 12 years of marriage. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm about to hit five years, and that oh, feels like a long time. I know. You're so. like, we've been together for that long. But it kind of feels like longer. <laughs> like, I'm like, it's only five yeah. years. But, <laughs> you know, I'm like, but 12, that's cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, so, but yeah, and, and I just love it here. Yeah, yeah, that's so great. Yeah, I feel like at Bell, we try and make like a good atmosphere, a good safe place for our patients, but it's also like for each other. For, like, seriously, yeah. I just feel like as a team, we just, I don't know, we love each other and mm -hmm. it sounds so cliche. No, like... but we, it really is. You know, when I first got here, um, the biggest thing was I, I just need to, to be in a healthy atmosphere mm -hmm. and I, I need to just be in a good mental space. And right off the bat, that that's what I got. And, yeah. And, and it's just maintained. So it's not like, oh, we're just going to do this. To make, make you feel good. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna trap you. <laughs> no. <laughs> but um, every single day I come in and, and, um, the girls are just, you know, we're all invested in each other's lives. Yeah. So we're like, as soon as we come in from the weekend, we're like, we miss you. Yeah. And what you do this weekend? So it's just so real. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I just appreciate it. And even coming up to to Draper, I'm like, the girls are just so awesome. You know, yeah. So great. It's here, so, so fun coming here because I yeah. come like only like once a week. Uh -huh. And so they're like, uh -huh. hey, <gasps> I'm what like, you, you guys make me feel so good. I'm like, know. Or they're like, you look so cute. I know. I was like, oh. I'm like, thanks this is the one day a week I get ready. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but yeah, so awesome. Okay, so you are a massage therapist. Tell us a little bit like about massage at Bell and how it kind of, you know, helps with the procedure and mm -hmm. kind of your take on it. Okay, so um, uh, I, I feel like it is, it's so important, mm -hmm. um, especially, you know, having gone through the procedure myself and right. really seeing what it what it does. Yeah. You know, yeah. and just on a daily, you know, if you if I had, you know, gone a few hours without just massaging myself, I just felt just so uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I need to do something here. Uh -huh. And, you know, it makes such a big difference when I have uh, patients come in and I they're they're walking in and they're kind of stiff and, you know, they're just like, oh, I don't feel too great. Mm -hmm. um, but I know this massage is going to help. And they come out of the massage room and they're like, I feel like a human again. Oh, and I'm so like, good. thank you. So, yeah. you know, it's something that I didn't even realize was a thing before I, I started working at Bell. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, wow, okay, so you guys do this. I, I, I understand the lymphatic system, circulation, how important right. it is just, you know, um, on a daily basis. But like for this, mm -hmm. wow. For the healing. You know? for Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they, they tell you during your post-ops to to drink water, you know, to walk. And that, that helps with your lymphatic, but to manually move things, mm -hmm. that it's just, it's great. And uh, during the procedure, you know, when I'm I'm in there having to do um, fat transfers, mm -hmm. it's just so important to be able to like. You so during see... the actual procedure, you're mm -hmm. in there massaging. Mm -hmm. So okay. it depends if they're having like a fat transfer to the breast or mm -hmm. a fat transfer to the buttocks. Mm -hmm. um, I'll go in there and I'll be manually moving the tissue. So wow. I'll switch places with the provider while things are happening, mm -hmm. and you can see a difference. You know, yeah. they'll they'll put the the fat tissue in. 
and it looks a little clumpy here and there, right? And as soon as we start massaging, it just, it smooths out. It goes to the area that we're trying to push it to. Right. It really rounds everything out. And the, the main purpose is just circulation and really trying to get that blood supply so that we, you know, we, we make the uh, the fat cells feel comfy in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, stay. <laughs> this is where you belong. <laughs> stay forever. Yeah. <laughs> but um, uh, I just feel like it, it's... It's so important. And I just, yeah. you know, the fact that Bell has made this um, such a big part of post-op, mm -hmm. it's so awesome. You know, I feel like everybody needs to do it, you know, if, yeah. you're, if you're manipulating the body, right? For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess, like, logistically. So you get a procedure. They take the fat out. Mm -hmm. your, your skin is kind of, like, not as connected, right, yes. to the... T to the fat and the muscle mm -hmm. and the muscle wall yeah okay yeah so everything's just kind of like okay now we're just hanging out right <laughs> and that's why it's so important um for them to be wearing their compression garment okay and, you know in specific areas their binder and um the first you know couple weeks is so important for everything to reattach uh -huh. but um it's still so important even when the skin isn't attached to mm -hmm. to to massage right you know and the massage is pretty light right mm -hmm. yeah so that's I, what lymphatic massage isn't like the deep tissue oh like. no and that's the one thing i have patients come in and they are terrified really they're terrified and they they they'll confide in the medical assistants at first but not you like, i don't want to do it and i'm yeah. like no you're gonna do it and they're and like you're gonna love it don't. <laughs> but in their mind, they're thinking massage. Yeah. So they're like, gosh, she's going to. And they're already me. sore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And, you know, they're afraid, right? They're like, please don't touch me. And, you know, so I start doing massage. And then they're like, wow. Okay. Okay. This is great. Can, yeah. can I can I take you home? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I come every week, every day? And I'm yeah. like, yes, you know. So um, it's just that first initial that mm -hmm. people are just kind of like, oh, my gosh. And, and that's kind of what I want to get out there, too, is yeah. like. The massages are so important and people right. are, you know, a little wary of them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we offer two massages yes. free of charge, right? So mm -hmm. what is it? One to three day, seven to 10 day? Yes. Okay. So the, the first two appointments and then um, for fat transfers, there's there's three, three. Okay. Um, complimentary. And then, of course, there is um, you're able to book extra massages just, okay. you know, uh, so we have that, the 30 minute massage and that's, um, $50. Oh. And then we have the hour, which is a hundred. Okay. So it's, so that's like, if you're just wanting the extra, like the mm -hmm. people who are like, yes. I want to come back, yeah. you know, and like you can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I think that's awesome because like you said, a lot of places that do these kind of procedures, like they don't offer they don't. the massage and it's just exactly. like such a good tool in healing mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. making you feel better because yes. like yes come in we'll make you feel yeah. good we'll you know we'll pamper you yeah. it's gonna be you know very very relaxing and that that's one thing that i like to do um down at pleasant grove is mm -hmm. i i like to change up the atmosphere so it's right. not you know they're coming into a, a bright room that are like ptsd yeah. yeah. you know <laughs> yeah i like no this is your time so if you want to nap you know yeah if you want to uh, just relax or if you want to talk you know mm -hmm. um and then uh, they, they really do open up to me after a few sessions. And yeah. they're just like, oh, this is so great. You know? <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I love that. So you talked about doing the procedure yourself. Mm -hmm. And, like, I know you've been on semaglutide. So tell me yes. about, like, timeline. Like, when did you decide to get the procedure? When did you mm -hmm. go on semaglutide? So semaglutide was the first thing that I was considering. Okay. Um, uh, and I think it was sometime last year mm -hmm. when I when I jumped on semaglutide. It was when we first uh, we we first started. It. Right. And I was like, oh my gosh. And that's kind of when I started. Yeah. 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 It was like when, yeah, it first <laughs> it, it, came out. The hype. And yeah. I was like, I'm so excited about this. This is yeah. so great. And uh, with semaglutide, it, it was crazy because um, it really does help with appetite suppression. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I feel like that's like, what? and <laughs> even when we were like starting to research it to see if this is something that like we wanted to offer, like, yes. does it work? Is mm -hmm. it effective? Is it safe? Yes. And I was just like, I don't think it would work for me because I don't eat a cookie because I'm hungry. Yes. I eat a cookie because I want to cook. Uh-huh. Right. Yes. Like, but even that, like, I, it's like the cravings, like. It's not like everything like went away and I never wanted to, you know, yes. I only ate broccoli forever. No, uh -huh. but it was like after I ate a meal, like, oh, like I feel good now. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just mm -hmm. think as somebody who, I mean, I love food and I mm -hmm. just like 
love the sweets and everything. Oh, yes. It was just, it was very surprising to uh-huh. be like, oh. Like, like the control. Yeah. Like you're, I would sit there at night and I'd be like, you know, normally I'm like, oh, I wish I had like an ice cream. Yeah. Oh gosh, what's in the refrigerator? Yeah. And, and when I was in Semo, I was like, wow, I, there, there is this on the counter and I yeah. really, I can actually go to bed. You yeah. Know, I'll leave that there. My husband can eat it. You yeah. know what I mean? It, yeah. I didn't have that urge to, uh-huh. um, to snack. Uh-huh. And then it got to a point where, you know, I just felt so good. Mm-hmm. Like the energy boost. I was like, wow. Right. That's really and that's like awesome. something that's just like so important. Mm-hmm. And like I've talked to so many people that it it's just like, yes, like it feels good to like be skinny or it feels yeah. good to lose weight. But it's also just like I just like feel so much yeah. better. Feel, yeah. Mm-hmm. The energy, is, the... the cl- I just feel clean. Yeah. Too. Yeah. And I I know, you know, there 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 are some symptoms here and there that mm-hmm. people have um experienced, but uh when I was going through some I, I had like no symptoms. Really? Like it was just like really Yeah, did you get nauseous at all? No. That's I so didn't. good. So I just sat there and I was just like, Okay, yeah. Like this is a thing. I'm just waiting. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, okay, when I go up and do it, it's yeah. gonna hit me. And- That's kind of mine. Was only like it's like the day after I take the injection mm-hmm. when I increase the dose. Yes, and so after like a like two months, I was fine. Your, your body was like, I'm yeah. used to it now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and <laughs> even when I was nauseous, it was like one day. I'm like, yeah, I feel sucky, but yeah, but it's, it's, it's worth it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but then uh, it was, um, I think in the. I've always thought about doing the procedure, mm-hmm. you know, but it was just kind of like a, you know, even if you work here and you hear the stories and you're interacting with the people who've gone through it, it's kind of like, I don't know. I, know. I have to prepare myself. Yes. <laughs> um, and then it hits towards the ending of the year. And I was like, you know what? Like, just cut it out. It's you know, this is, yeah. you see um, the amazing results that people get. Yeah. And, and you have time and time and again where, Patients are telling us that we have changed their lives. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, wow, okay, this is great. And it was nearing uh, my husband's, um, uh, one of his like holiday parties. Mm -hmm. And he, we went shopping. And, you know, every woman loves shopping. You love shopping. Yeah. Um, And um, I was searching for my outfit and, I found this really cute outfit and I had this so this, you know, this image in my head. Uh-huh. I'm like this is gonna look so great. And I got into the fitting room and I had my daughter in there with with me as well and she was trying on her little outfit and it just hit me that I didn't feel good in my skin anymore. Yeah. And I, I put my clothes on and I just stood there and I, I got so upset, mm-hmm. you know. And it's hard. It's hard it like is shopping and like oh like this is fun and like look at all these fun things and then you put them on your body and you're like and now i don't like it yeah so yeah Yeah, you know it's hard um and then another big thing is you know my my baby girl's in there and she's having to look at me and Mm -hmm. and be like well what's wrong and i'm oh no nothing you know yeah like you don't want to like pass that mm -hmm. on you want Mm -hmm. yeah you know and it's not it's don't get me wrong uh, it's not that I don't love myself. Like, mm-hmm. I love myself. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? There's nothing wrong. It's just just feeling better in your skin. Right. You know, it, it, it hits differently. Right. Yeah. And um, and I, I, I had told my husband, I, I got out of the the dressing room and he said, hey, like, you have no clothes in your hands. Like, what's going on? And I was like, it's okay. I'll just wear something in the closet. Yeah. And he was like, no, we're, we're out here to get you a new outfit. Mm-hmm. So... He helped me, and I just kind of, like, went to something, like, comfortable. Right. Something that I could kind of, like, hide in, you know? And that's when I made the decision. I was like, I, I'm i 31 years old. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm still in my prime. Yeah. I'm young, and I want to feel good yes. about me. Yeah. You know? So then I had told my husband, I said, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Good. I'm doing it. <laughs> I love it. So you did semaglutide first. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's kind of like how we explain it. Like semaglutide, like you start to lose like weight overall. Yes. But then the procedure you can go in and like really target in certain areas because Mm -hmm. we all have those areas that we don't like, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I think as women, it's always like the, like the little mom pooch or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I think men, it's like the, the chest or the love handles, the little muffin top. Mm -hmm. So I think 
it is cool to be able to to have like these different tools right yes. so semaglutide like just help you lose weight overall and then the procedure to go in and just like the really contour thing yeah and, and like target specific areas and like with moms right you know when our bodies start to change and you know that mom pooch down there it's even if you're you know working out even if you're eating healthy this is just so, such a stubborn area yeah you know i mean and it makes sense like mm-hmm. you help babies in yes. your body yes you push them out of your body <laughs> and yeah you have something to show for it yes, like exactly yeah so um but you know i i just get i just got to the point where i i, I really wanted to i just wanted to feel good yeah you know yeah and i just i love that so important and that's what bell does yeah you know we're not like that typical, you know, liposuction clinic. Yeah. And we we are very well-rounded in that, you know, the, the way that the girls greet you, mm-hmm. you know, the, just the phone call, you know, mm-hmm. um, coming in for a consultation. Our TCs, our, our treatment coordinators are just, they're, they're so good at listening mm-hmm. um, and not trying to pry at selling you things, right. you know. They're just like, okay, let me hear it from your point of view. Um how are you feeling and what can I do to help you? Mm-hmm. You know, they're not, they're not pushy. They're not like, right. hey, let me have this, this, yeah. this, this, stuff. They're, they're just like, okay, this, this could possibly work. Or, hey, let me give you, you know, some advice about, well, what about adding the flanks? Yeah. Because it could really like suck everything in. You know yeah. It's I mean? not like they're looking at you to judge, like, mm-hmm. what do we need to fix? Exactly. It's, it's more like, okay, like what's going to make you feel good? Yes. Yeah. Like what are, what is it that you want to target? Mm-hmm. You know? Um, and then you have your your medical assessment where, uh, you know, the girls are always taking you back and making you feel good. Mm-hmm. And that's like, that's Bell. Yeah. You know, and and throughout the entire process of going through uh, the procedure, you know, it it is kind of scary. You're awake. You yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. And I feel like that's definitely like for us, like that's a positive. That's a yes. good thing. Mm-hmm. But coming into it, it's like, wait, what? What? <laughs> I'm going to be up. <laughs> like, that's, yeah. So, Just put me out. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, like, to have people there to be mm-hmm. like, this is, like, it's okay. Yeah. Like, we're here. Yeah. Everything's fine. Yes. Like, you yeah. know. And then even in the procedure, if if there's ever a time where somebody's just feeling a little uncomfortable, you know, um, the girls, they, they will reach over and, like, you know, just hold somebody's hand mm-hmm. or just rub their leg. And they're, you know, um, what's great is seeing the medical assistants say, like, you're doing such a good job. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. You're you're doing so great. Um, I don't think you get that anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I feel like something that we kind of recognize yes. is that, like, the procedure's so different for mm. everybody. Yes. So, like, I don't know yes. how yours was, but, like, some people, they're like, yeah, I took a nap. Like, it was fine. Yeah. And then some people were like, oh, that kind of hurt. Yeah, like, yeah. Or you have people who are, like, reading a book. We're like, what yeah. are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> so it really, it just depends on your body, on, like, your yes. pain tolerance, on how, you, I don't know. I mm-hmm. just think it's so different from mm-hmm. person to person. Oh. And just, so to have, like, a team there to to be able to be there for you, mm-hmm. no matter what mm-hmm. you're feeling. Yes. Yeah. So. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I think another thing, like, just... The fact that, like, you've had a procedure. We've both been on semaglutide. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, like we believe in what we're offering. Yes. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, we we wouldn't be we selling these it. things if we... Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. So I think mm-hmm. that's something that, like, I love is that we really, we believe in the things that, that, that we're... we're yeah, yeah. That we, you know, it, and that's important when you have a whole staff who has done it i mean seriously everybody <laughs> and their mother has has gotten a procedure here we're like so oh, you want to hear my story <laughs> here look at my before and after pictures let me show you <laughs> but how great is that to have somebody um on the other end mm-hmm. right tell you it's gonna be okay and then you know yeah it really is gonna be okay yeah she went through it hey she went through it I she went it. through it yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so. i love that <laughs> All right, so I feel like we've talked about a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, is there anything mm-hmm. like you want people to know, or something that you just feel is very, I don't know? Because for me, mm-hmm. it's like I just want people to know that like we're here for you, exactly. And yeah. something that I think about a lot is like we want you to feel comfortable and confident. Yes, and that's here in mm-hmm. in the clinic. We want you to be comfortable. We want you to feel okay. Like 
sharing, um, you know, like kind of those vulnerabilities. Yes. We want you to be comfortable in the procedure. And then we want you to feel confident in our mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. And then going out from there, we want you to be comfortable in your skin. And we want skin. you to be confident, you yeah. know. Yeah. So I don't know. Is there, um, uh, you know, I just, I know that the the procedure is a little scary. Yeah. And I, I went through the same thing. And I've worked here for so long. I see it every single day. Mm -hmm. And and I was nervous as well. Yeah. You know, um, I came into my procedure and I they were like, Brie, you need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> and I I get it. Yeah. Um, but honestly, it is the one thing that I just want to get out there is that it's it's so worth it. Yeah. You know, I I I put clothes on. You know, I, I wear jeans and I, I put them on and I'm like, wow, you know. Yeah. I would have not, uh, I, I wouldn't have this if I, if I didn't just go through with it. Yeah. You know, so I, I and, uh, you know, the fact that, like, you know, people have options, mm -hmm. right? They they can go wherever they want to go. Um, but Bell just, I truly feel like Bell just, Bell's just so different. Yeah. You know? And we're just going to take care of you from to start to finish and it and it, it's funny you know when we we call it graduating right when mm -hmm. people reach their 30 day in there and we don't see them anymore and yeah. we're like oh my gosh we'll even invite them back like yeah. please if you're in the area just just say hi, hi. Yeah. i'm gonna miss you so or like much. when patients send like little notes or like flowers oh. it's just like oh, yes my I'm heart like, <laughs> i love you yeah um, so it's just you know it's it's very it's very different um it's so worth it mm -hmm. And honestly, the team is, it, it's just, they're just going to take such good care of you from, yeah. you know, the providers, the medical assistants, um, the TCs, yeah. you know, and uh, the the massage therapists, you know, yeah. we're, we're literally just like you said, we're, we're all just here for you throughout, you know, your entire process. Yeah. So. I love that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yes. And like, thank you for sharing um, with us about like massage therapy and also your experience. Because, yes. yes, I feel like it just helps so much for somebody to hear. To hear it. You yes. feel like who, you know, like, behind the scenes, but also has gone through it. Yes. You know, so. Yeah. So you see it from both sides. I love it. Well, thank you. Um, and thank you for watching. Um, we're excited um, to continue to have guests on and we will see you next week.